Hello everyone, my name is Lorenzo Hernandez and I'm one of the physical education teachers at Garfield High School. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, introduce you to an engagement strategy that I use for my students. Uh, pretty much as a check-in, I use it one time a week uh, just to kind of see how our students are feeling, how they're doing. Uh, on the platform that I'm using is called Desmos and I'll walk you through that in a little bit, but I believe it's driven primarily for, for math However, a lot of other subjects are on it as well. So that's where we came up with the idea that we went ahead and, and, and took some of that and just looked for a check-in and we found that. And you, you'll uh, understand what I mean by that. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so this is Desmos here on the screen. Um, I will take you to the platform in a little bit, but just as you can tell, these are the student names here. Uh, these are the slides that you can go ahead and incorporate. Some of them are already preloaded, which is great. They've already been uh, authored by someone. And what you do is pretty much you come on in here and you can go ahead and delete if you want, add whatever you need to do to kind of make it yours if you would. Uh, but I found that uh, that person still gets the credit. So it's kind of difficult to uh, remove their name, not like uh, Nearpod, so be warned. Uh, so again, this is what the students are working on pretty much. Uh, they'll tell me how they're feeling based on a little quick robot face. Uh, they'll also write some notes on why they're feeling what they're feeling. Uh, I provided a map so they can go ahead and kind of give me some, some reference into where they spend their time, of course, pre-COVID. And then another strategy as we move into uh, the lesson, I just kind of just want to trigger them and see how they're doing in regards to the lesson that's about to come up. And I'll explain that in a little bit. And the last one is kind of like a, a, a real quick kind of uh, tacos versus hamburger survey. Just again, trying to make something creative for them to, to you know, engage and just try to get some normalcy as much as possible. So let me go ahead and take you to the platform now that I use here or their website. So this is it here, and just like I'll mention to the students, you can use this just like a Nearpod. You can log in using your LAUSD single sign-on. You go here to desmos.com in the URL bar, and you just kind of work your way through it. Uh, it's like anything else that's new. Uh, it's just getting used to it. So you'll see my homepage come up here. And this is where I was talking, where you can go ahead and look for something that, uh, that interests you. Uh, for example, when I typed, I was looking for check-in and I found these here by Zach Miller. However, you know, this is something that I created, but again, just like I mentioned, they will take credit for it and it's absolutely fine. So uh, that's what it is there. I'll walk you through that same lesson. You can create classes here, your activity and histories, and there's also collections where you can go ahead and just store all your information. Again, kind of similar to, uh, to Nearpod. However, this is more, if you look at the titles, more of a, of a, of a math uh, platform for math teachers. I'm sure it is a great tool. Um, let me go ahead and I'll just show you period eight. Uh, they haven't started on this yet. So this is their check-in. This is what you saw. So if you go to it and I click on it, there's obviously no responses here, okay? But if I show you this, we'll go to our edit page. And you could come on in here and it does translate some of the information over in whatever language. So if you notice here, you'll see my period eight. I can go ahead and again, go to the dashboard. These are all the activity sessions that they've been assigned. However, if you go over to the top right, you can edit this activity. And this is where you will see um, what I was talking about. So here's slide one, has all this uh, different options that you can play with here, okay? Let me go ahead and close this, cancel that. Okay, so this is, I'll ask them how they're feeling. Uh, they'll go ahead and move the smiley face or, you know, reduce the smile down. And then I'd ask them to include their information if they'd like to say more. Maybe they feel 
a little tired, maybe they feel great. Today, luckily, I had a lot of students feel great. They were excited, they were motivated, which was really, really good. Uh, this is the map that I was uh, referring to, so I uploaded this map, and I just pretty much asked them to mark it, and they'll have some tools. So I asked them to use a black color just so it's able to be identified a little bit more. But again, this is a map of East LA, and again, just pre-COVID, where, where did you spend most of your time at, okay? And here is where we start moving in towards our lesson. Okay, so I'll ask what is the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word stretching? So that's our lesson that we're gonna be speaking on and they'll go ahead and respond. And the last one, like I mentioned, it's kind of like an agree, disagree. And pretty much I said, what do you feel is better, tacos versus, uh, versus in and out burgers? And this was a huge topic for them. Uh, it was really, really good discussion on this uh, where they had a good time. So again, I, I just spend about 10 to 12 minutes at this at most, but it's just good to engage with our students, of course. So again, this is a platform here. Uh, if you want to find out more about it, there's a lot of tutorials, but again, just go to decimals.com. Thank you.